recommend the tutorial on how to generate from um, diagrams. So as you can see, I have a use case diagram here first. So use case diagrams are pretty easy. Um, the interesting thing about diagrams is there are several ways of looking at them. So one way is the diagram that you just saw. Another way is with XML. And as we can see, it's not so complex. We have a use case, login, we have an actor, we have associations, etc. So while it is perfectly fine to open and you know analyze this with link to SQL or with XML, um, we will try to go another way in this demo. Although it's perfectly fine to do it with XML if you want, right? So what we do now is we again create a new template, uh, in this case uh, an empty text transform template, and we just move over the diagram. So what then happens is it opens up um, the gallery filtered by the type, and I want to generate HTML documentation for the use cases. So this, this looks very nice and promising. So I just insert this template, and the template again produces HTML. It's written in uh, C Sharp 3.5. It uses something called the TA use case directive processor. And the directive processor is only functional in the Pro Edition. So if you have a free edition, you probably need to yeah, either buy the Pro Edition or you go for XML and system XML and setter and parse it yourself. With this directive processor and a few assemblies that are all edit, it's possible to use uh, this dot use case model, for example, dot name. In addition, it's possible to do a for each abo above all the elements in the use case model and write out their description as well as the notes. So this is a very pretty simple, easy template. As we drag and drop the template, um, everything should be fine right now. So if I look at the output, that has been generated. I get, yeah, the description, the diagram, etc. I don't have any notes. I don't have descriptions for the actors yet. So we go back to the diagram. Uh, not this one. We go back to the user's diagram. And we add a description. Login scenarios. Uh, major logins. So, and I put in uh, some more description for this. Regular login screen. And this is regular logout screen. So, now when I save the diagram, unfortunately, nothing happened here. So, in order to update this, you have to run the, uh, the template again by just saving the template. Then you go back and you see major logins, my login scenarios, I have this too, and so everything is fine. So in, in summary, it's pretty easy, for example, for use case diagram to generate code from it if you have the TA directive processors. The nice thing is that in the Pro Edition, as mentioned before, you get um, in Pro Edition you get all these fields, etc. for the elements and so it's, it's pretty easy. It's just like an object model that you have to figure out uh, what it is like and then you can generate code very easily about that. Okay, hope that helps. Um, enjoy your documentation and have a nice day.